Oh, and the shock rifle. Like, you don't stand still, dude, when you're playing against someone with a shock rifle. Because I love myself some rank free for all. Again, I just never really felt the need to jump back in and play it. Oh, nice little double. Let's go. So the weekly update brought in Lone Wolves, which actually has Escalation Slayer, Shoddy Snipes, and regular Free For All Slayer mixed into the whole thing. Very casual. We also have Social Skirmish, which actually got a big update where it brought in a lot of unique game modes like Covert, One Flag, Ninja King of the Hill, Ninja Land Grab, Slay Holds, Vampire Ball. For challenges, we have Kill an Enemy Spartan with a Melee, Kill 10 Enemy Spartans with UNSC Weapons, Win Any PvP Match, and Kill Enemy Spartans from Behind with a melee so let's try to stack these two together if you guys like these type of videos make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within that all famous youtube algorithm if you want to stay updated with everything going on with halo as 71 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel well you know what to do then of course i'm looking as shiny as possible so how much more stealthy can i be a lot more but i look way too cool oh we got ourselves escalation free for all this is gonna be interesting can i get the melee no, oh, doesn't count. Heck, I'm a spawn to put someone right next to me like that with a rocket launcher. So one thing I definitely want to talk about while playing this right now is the whole like rotational playlist thing. I don't know how exactly how I really feel about it. One, it kind of gives you like a new reason to hop in and play, right? But then another thing is that like, I don't know, I kind of wish that like, free for all was just kind of like a mode that would be in Halo for a long time. Maybe we got that melee, right? Okay, another one. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't be playing this kind of fiesta y kind of free-for-all mode if it wasn't a rotational thing. I really need to get myself off of this skewer here, but everyone is apparently a god at aim right now. I'm not in last, so I got that going for me. Like when they took away ranked free-for-all, oh my god, finally we got off that dang weapon. Like when they took away ranked free-for-all, I was saddened a little bit because I love myself some ranked free-for-all. Again, I just never really felt the need to jump back in and play it. Oh, nice little double. Let's go. Kill. Mainly because of it being rotational. I don't want to grind out something that I know is going to be gone within a couple weeks. I feel like that's kind of the point of playing ranked is that you get to kind of work your way up through the ranks and then get up to a good spot where it kind of would match your skill level appropriately. My right, dudes, we got ourselves a real dripped lobby right now. Oof. Hey, we got that kill. The cool thing about that is that like, yeah, the heat seeking mode takes four rockets, but you hit some good shots when it comes to the non heat seeking mode. It only takes three. So it's kind of a cool balance. And I feel like if we're going to put a rotational mode into Halo, it should be something that could be a little bit more unique. Like this is the unique enough, yeah, right? Escalation Slayer, right? And then I think this would be a good type of mode to have as a rotational thing. But when you throw it in with a bunch of other modes on top of that, I feel like it kind of gets in the way of the experience that you're looking for when it comes to playing, saying free for all. Wait, there is no radar in this map. Can't get the man. I can't get the back mac. No! Oh no! How long did how long did it take me to realize that there is no radar on this mode, and so I could, a back smack would actually be very possible? What's the cool thing about back smacking players with an escalation? Slayer is that it actually sets them back one set of weapons. Maybe I'm just a bit of a jaded Halo player and I just kind of want some new, cool, crazy thing to play rather than just be like, hey, this time you can play free for all. We get the back smack. No. Yes. Yes, we got the back smack. Let's go. At least we got two challenges done for this match. Oh my god, no. Nah. And it doesn't help that I have arguably one of the worst guns in the game right now trying to progress through, but hey, everyone else has to do it. So let's call it a skill issue. So like you give me a, a battle rifle, I get it. My first hit, <laughs> gunfire with a battle rifle, I get it perfect. I'm just saying. Put a good gun in my hands, I know what I'm doing. Woo, that's a little one, two, three. Oh, and the shock rifle. Like, you don't stand still, dude, when you're playing against someone with a shock rifle. It's so easy to get headshots with that. It looks impressive. So I was across the map for good luck. It's gonna do something, right? Watch. Nope. There we go. I think another reason why freefall really isn't that popular of a mode. Oh, what? It didn't kill him, brother! I think we all agree that I lined that fusion coil up perfectly. But yeah, before I was so rudely interrupted, I think the reason why free for all tends to be a very unpopular mode within Halo, because I think a lot of people play it like a team-based game. Because that's kind of what we've been programmed to play Halo, right? You see someone, you shoot, you go for this. Oh, he just screwed himself over so badly. But the pulse carbine is that terrible. I know the biggest thing I see when it comes to complaints about playing free-for-all in Halo is that my kills get stolen. 
It's like, well, you don't shoot literally everyone you see on the map at any time like you do for regular team-based games. Very, two very different play styles are needed to, for each mode. When you're playing free-for-all, when you put shots into somebody, you want to make sure you can get the kill. Because obviously, it's very easy to clean up kills in Halo. It's very difficult to start and finish them. Of course, when I got a big boy hammer, like, stop shooting me. I have to hammer this guy. He doesn't know what's going to hit him. He's going to get it. Watch this. Here it comes. He's going to step back and burn. So one thing I love about free for all too is that you can plan on engagements based off of oh, you're slicing and dicing. But uh, the audio that you hear in the game, you have to be much more aware of your surroundings and listen into what's happening on the map. Once you hear a gunfight, you run towards it because you're probably gonna be able to clean somebody up, which should be perfect for you and terrible for them. Might sound like you're being a cheap little nerd cleaning up people's kills, but that's the best way to play free-for-all in Halo unless they make it into like SWAT free-for-all or something. You get the long range? Oh, it doesn't shoot that far. It's so lame. Oh, did I just get set back one? I did. Oh, no. <laughs> it's my first time playing free-for-all in this map, too. So predicting the spawns is another big aspect of free-for-all that I just don't know how to do on this map. And as you can tell, I feel like hopping over into the social skirmish side of things. We got Ninja Land Grab, which is... Okay, this is going to be uh, an interesting game mode, to say the least. I just literally zoomed right over him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Is... Got him, baby! Oh, gosh. The duel of duels. Got him, too! Let's go. Let's get that OS. Oh, you're trying to throw a fusion call at me, dude? That's just not how it's going to happen. We're going to cap this A point. See, something like this? This feels a little more crazy, a little more fun, a little more wild. Something exciting. Yeah. The grapple shot sword combo is such a fun one to play around with. If I ever get this like in big team battle or just regular arena, you can do so much crazy stuff with like, watch this. Just zoom right across. They did put a limitation on how many grapple shots you can utilize. So it's not unlimited, which I think unlimited would be a little bit more zany, waggy fun. But it makes sense if you're trying to make it into somewhat of a mode that could make sense when it comes to trying to play the game to win. How did he survive? Come on. Though I don't know. I feel like having unlimited grapples in this would just kind of turn the fun up to 11. I'm gonna try to grab a fusion coil here, see if I can make it happen. No! Oh my god, that hit him directly! What happened? I get an F in the chat for that one, because that just, that is just mean for it to not get the kill. Oh no, I'm falling! Oh god, I'm falling! Oh my god, yeah, it's so easy! But I got him! Let's go! Oh, this map does do a very good job of showcasing the, the grapple shot. All we gotta do is cap one more hill and we get the win. No, we're making it happen! We're making this happen. We're capping this B hill. And then we get the win. There we go. So ultimately, I do like the rotational idea of playlists, but some of them have to be a little bit more unique and fun, like Ninja Slayer stuff that were pulled off in that last skirmish match. Absolutely fun, but again, more temporary fun. I want to see it be a sustainable kind of playlist. Free for all though, I would just love to see it stay in the game, but I don't really see a whole lot of people wanting to play it as it is a mixed mode. And I think when you're playing free for all, you kind of just want to just shoot players like it's Slayer. But let me know what you think about them in the comments down below.